This is Tom, and here's another KQ Morning Show Rewind from Walzer Automotive Group, walzer.com. My hero is on the phone. Simon. Hey. Did you just get up, Simon? A little bit ago. I'm sorry about this, but I've been excited about this story all day because you stood up for yourselves. You have every right to call your band whatever you wish to call your band, and I'm proud of you, man. What I'm talking about is the United States Supreme Court ruled that the slants, because they're in an uh, Asian-American band, may call themselves what they wish to call themselves. I love that. Yeah, well, they, they voted for it because uh, ultimately they decided that the First Amendment prevails, that the government has no right and... Um, choosing what's good and what's bad in terms of speech. And ultimately, at the end, in a democracy, everyone should have that right. See, Simon, my belief is that if you hold words up, if, if, if you hold them up as an example of either good or bad, it's a huge mistake. You give words much too much power when you do that. I think people sometimes perpetuate negative meanings over words in ways that they shouldn't. They shouldn't be afraid of them. I agree. It's, it's it's more about the ideas behind those words and how can we how can we change people through through those. Did you take particular heat in the state of California for the name or not? Um, no, we've actually never received a single complaint about the name. So who com- it was just the fact that you tried to trademark the name, the slants that they said no, you can't do that. Yeah, the trademark office. Uh, the only bit of evidence they ever brought to the table was. Um, UrbanDictionary.com, which is a joke wiki site, but that was it. They could not find a single Asian American organization who had problems with our name. Years before us, they gave a trademark to another band called Slant, and it was an all Caucasian band. And they said, "You should be more like these guys." Um, hopefully, we can be a reminder to people that things like humor, satire, and parody are actually really important for democracy. Yep. And that if, if sometimes if we take ourselves too seriously. And, and take offense to everything, we don't have a chance to connect with other people that we might not agree with. We're working on wrapping up an album in the studio right now, uh, but we'll be back on the road again this fall. Can you tell me what it's called? Do you want to hold it as... Because your, your, na- your albums are named wonderful things like Slanted Eyes, Slanted Hearts. <laughs> well, we, we actually don't have um, an album name yet, so, so I'm not sure we've just been in the middle of working on it, and so we haven't really had a chance to, to think about it. Um, but may, maybe we'll have something soon. Thanks a lot, Simon. All right, take care. Simon Tam, ladies and gentlemen, the slants, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court, not the Supreme Court of California, but the United States Supreme Court said they may indeed trademark their name, the slants, because they are an Asian-American band, and it's their business, free speech. This is Tom Bernard. You just heard another KQ Morning Show Rewind from my guys at Walzer Automotive Group, walzer.com. Hear today's entire KQ Morning Show on demand at 92kqrs.com, the KQ mobile app, or on iTunes.